as usual. We give special thanks for our love offering every Sunday morning. And thank you for your continued support. It may not be but a few of us, but our work and achievement shows otherwise. And let us continue to invite family, friends, members, strangers to church because it is a part of evangelism and we are here on this corner. Amen. I see Brother Mike is at his post this morning. All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Do we have any visitors this morning? This is please stand. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord.
to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Amen. What is due unto him? Amen. Amen. Has he been good to you? Yes, sir. Did he wake you up this morning? Yes. Did he put breath in your body? Hallelujah. Did, he, did he give you health and strength? Yes, and stuff that we don't praise him for now, but because now we can only praise God when he's given us something. Amen. But I, my testimony is if he don't do nothing else, yeah, yeah. he ain't got to do nothing else. He don't already done enough for me. Amen. Y'all ain't said that. I said, if he don't do nothing else, yeah. he's already done enough for me. Amen. Amen. And I'm just glad to be here this morning. Yeah. Um, I got three three services this, today, and I'm, I'm happy to be used by God in yeah. whatever Amen. capacity it is. Amen. I'm happy to be used, and I'm humbled that God is yet using me. Yes. I thank God for all of you, my brothers and sisters, yes. in Christ. And today I pray that you you hear God more than you hear me on today. Amen. Amen. And that you hear the voice of God. Amen. And what God has given unto me to give unto you. Nehemiah chapter 4 sorry Nehemiah chapter 4 let's stand for the reading of the word of God Nehemiah chapter number 4 I want to start at verse number 1 it says when thank God for these for the musicians thank you so much Chris, who is such a blessing to me and to the Cedar Grove Church. Thank you so much. When Sinbalat heard that the Jews had begun building the wall, he became furious and began to ridicule us, began to talk about us. Begin to put us on Instagram. <laughs> Begin to Facebook about us. Amen. In front of his companions yeah. and the Samaritan troops, he said, What do these miserable Jews think they're doing? Mm -hmm. He says, Do they intend to rebuild the city? Do they think that by offering sacrifices, they can finish this work in one day? Y'all in here the text. Can they make building stones out of heaps of burnt rubble? Tobiah was standing there beside him. And he added, what kind of wall could they ever build? Even if a fox could knock it down. I pray, hear how they make fun of us. Oh God, Nehemiah got to pray again. Let their ridicule fall on their own heads. Let them be robbed of everything they have. Lord. What a prayer. Yeah. And let them be taken as prisoners and as a foreign land. Don't forgive them the evil they do. And don't forget their sins. For they have insulted us. Wow. Who are in building. They have insulted us who are building. Did y'all see that? People that want to stop you from building Come on, Bishop. is insulting us yeah. who are building. Yeah. So they went on rebuilding the wall. They went on rebuilding the wall. We went on rebuilding the wall. All right. We went on rebuilding the wall. For 
the people had a mind to work. I'm going to talk about real quickly, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Tell somebody, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. I need you to say it again. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for the Spirit of God, for the Spirit of Christ, that Jesus would give us power to preach uh, His Word again on today. I pray that He would hide me behind the cross beneath the dripping of His blood, that the people would see less of me, but yet would hear more of Him. Spirit of a living God, fall fresh on us, and we pray that you would do it. In that name that is above every name, that in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and all tongues will confess that Jesus is Lord. And together, collectively, we all say amen. Amen. Say it again. This is how we do it. Listen, the word, you may be seated in the presence of God. The word we, uh, when it is used, we speaks of the pluralness of all. We speaks of the pluralness of all. And not just the exclusiveness of one. Did you hear what I just said? When we say the word we, that deals with, watch this, the pluralness of us all. And not the exclusiveness of one. Amen. Right. Let me go deeper. The story is told of a father who had promised his twin boys that he would give them $50 a piece <laughs> if they cleaned out the garage, right. if they cut the grass and cleaned up their room. The sons with vigor went and cleaned out the garage, cut the grass, cleaned their room, and went back to the father and said, Father, we have completed the work Mm -hmm. that you've asked us to do, can we get paid? Amen. The two twin boys went to their father, they completed the work, and said, Father, can we now get paid? Amen, amen. The, the father pulled out a $100 bill, amen. tore it in half, and gave each one of them a piece amen. of the $100 bill. All right. Both sons looked strange at their father, and said, what is this all about? We did all this work. Mm -hmm. We cleaned out the garage, we cut the grass, we cleaned our room. Yeah. And here you now take a hundred dollar bill, mm -hmm. tear it in half, and give us both a piece of it. Amen, amen. They wanted to say some choice words to their father. Hallelujah. <laughs> which they did not do, but they said, how can you give us a half of a hundred dollar bill between the both of us? Amen. Where is our fifty dollars? The father replied and said, "You do have fifty dollars a piece. Amen. You just have to come together to spend it." And what I'm trying to tell you today, this story arrested my attention because, watch this, it's just how it is with us as a people of God. We got a whole lot. We just got to come together to get the job done. The job cannot get done by one person alone, but the job will get done if we learn how to bring our halves together to make one whole. It's not enough for you to be trying to do the work and the will of God by yourself. But I believe if we all would come together at the Cedar Grove Missionary Baptist Church right here at 7623 Los, Ave, Los Angeles, California 90043, if we all would would come together on one accord. We would change how this community look. We will 
change how 8th Ave looks. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but we all brothers and sisters, we need to come together. I believe if we come together, we can make a difference in the world in which we live. As a people of color, if we was to come together, we would make them get their knees off of our neck. Preach Bishop Wilson, I believe I will. I believe if we come together, we can change the climate of our community. If we come together, we can feed hungry stomachs. If we come together as a church, y'all ain't saying nothing, we can change the size, the setbacks, the spirit, the separation. If we only learn how to come together. And I'm trying to tell you that we got to learn how to come together. You cannot do it alone. I cannot do it alone. But if we will only come together and do the work and do the will of God. Is there anybody here that's willing to come together? For I heard Nehemiah say that the people had a mind to work. And I don't know about you, but I got a mind to work. I'm so glad that I got a mind to do the work and to do the will of the God that sent me. Why do you want to work for God? The Lord has been good to me. Is there anybody here? Has God been good to you? You want to lift up your hand. Put your hand on your hip and open up your mouth and give God praise because you know he's been good to you. Has he been good? You ought to say yes. You ought to give God the glory. You ought to give God the praise. Has he been good to you? You ought to lift up your hand. You ought to open up your mouth and say, Lord, you've been good to me. Say real good. Say real good. Has he been good to you? Y'all, so Nehemiah is a praying man, but he's also a planning man. He's also a preparing man, but he's also a performing man. Some of us have prayed, planned, we prepared, but have not performed. Wonder why God has not answered your prayer. Why? Because you prayed, you planned, you prepared, but you ain't never performed. You're waiting on God to do what God is waiting on you to do. You're waiting on God to take steps and you ain't to one step. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Even grandma had wisdom enough to say, if you take one step, God will take another step. I wish I had a witness in here. See, see God is a performer. God is a performing God. The Bible says, he that started a good work in you, watch this, uh, shall complete it, shall accomplish it until the day of his coming. God is a performing God. He said, watch this, when I send my word unto you, my word will not turn, return unto me void. God is a performing God. For the Bible says, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So y'all, here we are in this fourth chapter. Nehemiah is fearless. He's focused and he's faithful unto his assignment. Yes, when yes. God has truly called a man of God. I ain't talking about a boy that go to church. I'm talking about a man of God. Yes, yes. He, he has to be fearless. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. And y'all, I need to tell you, I ain't afraid. Of no ghosts. Well. 
I ain't afraid of you. Amen. Ain't nobody here I'm looking at I'm afraid of. Amen. Y'all ain't like said it. And that ain't to scare nobody. It's to say that I got God on my side. Yeah. And, and as long as I have God on my side. Y'all ain't like said it. If God be for you. Who can be against you? That's why you didn't die. Right. Amen. You had God on your side. That's why you're still alive. You had God. That's why the cancer didn't take you out. Because you had God on your side. Amen. Right. Amen. So Nehemiah is fearless. He's focused. He's faithful to the sign that God had called him to do that was upon his life. Amen. And can I just push pause real quickly just for about two minutes? Because watch this. I need to tell you, tell you something. Here in the text, here's the problem. Watch this. The problem is in the program of ministry. Right. We're not doing God's work. Ah. Watch this. Mm -mm. But we are working for the Lord. Amen. I need to tell you that it's, it's a difference between working for the Lord and doing God's work. God's work has already been done on Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus hung, bled, and died, he already did the work. He said, I must work the work of him that sent me while in his day, for nighttime is coming where no man uh, can work. So you're not doing the Lord's work. Amen. And he does not need us to do his work, but we are working for the Lord. Hallelujah. We are workers for the Lord. Are y'all still with me? Hallelujah. God has already done that work. Watch this. But Nehemiah has work to do. Yes. Just as us as children of God, we got work to do. Somebody say, I got work to do. I got work to do. I got work to do. I can't stay in the bed all day. I got I got work to do. I can't I can't stay in the bed between Monday and Saturday. I got work to do. God has called me to do a work. All right. So 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 in this text, y'all, I see a few things. I see number one, there's a conflict that was distractive because in the text there is a fellow by the name of Sinbad. Everybody say Sinbad. Sinbad. And Sinbad is in the text and. Uh, Sinbad is trying to get Nehemiah to stop working. Amen. There will always be people that will try to get you to stop working. Yeah. All right. There will always be people who tell you you praise God too much. All right. All right. All right. All right. There will always be people who say you at the church too much. Amen. Right. Amen. I, I've had I've had people tell me all the time, you know, because. You always find me at church. I mean, during the week, I'm always at church. Why? I love church. Somebody else, I, I just, I love everything about church. I love everything about ministry. There's always something to do. Amen. As relates to church, as relates to ministry. So I'm always, and I got deacons to testify that uh, you can always find me at church. Amen. Can the church say amen? amen. You ain't going to find me in the club. You're going to find me in the church. And some folks say, what you doing in the church all this time? You just at the church all the time. What are you doing? I said, minding my business. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> what, why you mind your business? I'm minding mine. Somebody would say amen. 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 And so um, Nehemiah uh, has conflict, right? It's just making him be distractive, right? But then y'all secondly... Uh, he has a connection in his duties. And I, and I say this because this is where we come in. When things are not a perfect fit, Amen. it will become a painful force. Hallelujah. Nehemiah, hit me right here a little bit, Chris. Nehemiah, just need a little music because I don't, I don't hear amens, but I, I need y'all to hear this. Sometimes you got to stop trying to force stuff. Amen. And you got to just let things fit. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Amen. You got to stop forcing it and you got to let God make it fit. Amen. As you're going through 2023, you, your prayer ought to be, Lord, I don't want to force it anymore. Amen. I just need stuff to fit. Amen. Amen. I don't want it to hurt no more. Amen. I just need it to fit. Yes. I don't want to force myself on nobody. I just need it to fit. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? I just need stuff to flow. Yeah. I just need stuff to go the right way. Amen. To go in the will of God. To go according to the word of God. Yes. yes. Because sometimes we're trying, watch this, 
to complete the right things with the wrong connections. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to complete the right thing, yeah. but with the wrong connections. Yes. Amen. My prayer is just, Lord, I want it to fit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nehemiah had people willing to work. Yes. You, 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 you got to have people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And, and, and don't, I don't even know who, but I just, just stay right there. That's good. But, but to work. I ain't married yet, but when I do, Chris, I, I need somebody who's willing to work. Amen, amen. I don't need nobody who want to just look pretty on the front row with a hat on. Hallelujah. I need somebody who's ready to work. Yes. And get the job done. Hallelujah. When I was in school, y'all, we had something called recess. Mm -hmm. Chris, we had recess, and we was able to go outside and play. Amen. But recess was only for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Recess is over, church. Amen, amen. It's time for the church to work. Amen. Whatever you want to do, you need to do it now. Hallelujah, amen. This is the time to do it. Yes, yes. And we've got to tell the enemy, this is how we do it. Yes. You trying to call us down from the wall? Mm -hmm. We ain't coming down. Amen. You keep reading in Nehemiah 4, he got tired as we all get tired. I know Mama Wilson get tired. Hallelujah. I, I tried to beat her here this morning. I tried. Amen. I tried. And I could have if I wasn't trying to look cute this morning and get ready. Hallelujah. <laughs> I could have. I know Sister Shannon gets tired. Here, here's what me and my pray, Lord, strengthen our hands. Yeah. God, give me strength. Amen. I can remember my mother, Maddie Wilson, being in the kitchen, and and uh, sometimes I think my mother cooked just for therapy. Amen. Amen. I think she cooked because it gave her therapy. But sometimes she can be in that cook, kitchen cooking and I can hear her yell out, strength, Lord. Mm. Strength, Lord. Yes, yes. Raising six children. Strength, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Had more month than money. Strength, Lord. Yes, yes. And don't you know when you ask him for strength, he'll give it to you? Amen, well, amen. Yeah. I said, don't you know when you ask him for strength, yeah. he will give it to you? Yeah. Y'all remember this song by the name of Popeye? Uh, yeah. Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. But he had an opponent. Yeah, yeah. He had an opponent, right? Yes. Brutus. Oh, yeah, Brutus. Yeah, Brutus. Right? Yeah, yeah. And Brutus was trying to get after his woman, Olive Oil. Uh, and sometimes Brutus would take Popeye and sling him across the room. Amen. And Popeye would just be helpless and hopeless. But Popeye would take a can of spinach well, with his bare hand. And he would squeeze a can of spinach. Pop open the top of the spinach with his bare hands and eat the spinach. Amen. And we always thought the spinach made him strong. Amen. But what man do you know that can take a can of spinach uh, with his bare hands mm. and squeeze it and open it? Mm. What am I saying? You got strength you don't realize. Yeah. The songwriter said, you are my strength. Yes. God will make you strong enough to do what it is he's called you to do. Yes. I'm going to leave y'all with something. I'm going to leave y'all with something. And I, I couldn't get out of here without telling y'all this story. I got to give it to you. I could probably say it by heart, but I, I wrote it and I said I want to give it to you today. But there's a story, y'all, about this preacher. 
His name is Jack Wilson. Amen, amen. And Jack Wilson got called at the age of 26 to preach the word of God. Hallelujah. Y'all know Jack Wilson. When Jack Wilson got called, the Lord had him to read 1 Kings chapter 6. Amen. Verses 9 through 12. Hallelujah. Jack Wilson had to read this. Watch this. So the Lord could convince him yes. that he was called mm -hmm. and that he was covered. Yes. Can I read that to you real quickly? Amen. Second Kings, first Kings chapter six. I'm just going to read verse eleven and twelve. And the word of the Lord came to Solomon, saying, "Concerning this house, yes. which thou art in building, mm -hmm. if thou will walk yes. my steps in my statutes." Yes. And execute my judgments and keep all my commandments to walk in them. Yes. Then I will perform the word which I spoke unto David thy father. Amen. Verse 13 says this, and I will dwell among the children of Israel, and I will not forsake my people. So Solomon built the house and finished it. Amen. Y'all, all I'm saying, I'm trying to build the house. Amen. Hallelujah. And I can't stop. Amen. Until it's finished. Yeah. Hallelujah. God gave me this text when I got called to preach. Folk want to know why I, I, I fix up churches and I doing this. God gave me this. When I was 26, I'm 54 now. And I'm still building. Amen. On the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to fix up cars and low riders. Popping up and down the street with low riders. Yes. Hit the switch. Pumping up music and woofers and stuff. If I could put names on church, I would. <laughs> put, put some center lines on the church. Chrome it out. Because it's the Lord's house. And if I could fix up a car, why not can I fix up a church? Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. Clap your hands. Let's give God praise. Listen, listen, I, I didn't forget. We're doing all this because one Friday, amen, amen. he went to a hill called Calvary. Yes, what did they do? They hung him high. Yes, yes. Stretched him wide. Yes. Dropped him low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put his head in the locks of his shoulder. Amen. He gave up the ghost. Amen. He died. I said he died. Yes. Do you believe he died? Hallelujah. Yes. So do you believe he died? Yes. Or are we just sitting up in church? They said, do you believe he died? Yes. I need the church. Just come on. Just say he died. He died. Just one time. He died. Yes. Didn't he die? Yes. But what happened after that? Yes. But say early. Yes. Sunday morning. What did he do? Do you really believe that? Yes, sir. With how much power? Oh, With all power. Yes, he said in heaven yes, and on earth, yes, all power has been given unto me. Yes. That's why we say stuff like, I know he's all right. Ain't he all right? I said, ain't he all right? Yes, and because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Clap your hands. Let's give God praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, um, Brother Mike. I just want to, I want to, I want to turn it off right now. I want to turn that part of it off real quick. Yeah. And y'all, this is not just solid rock deacons. Y'all, what deacons? Yeah. I want you to stand up and, and what are y'all? Cedar Grove deacons. Hallelujah. Amen. These, Amen. Are, these are Cedar Grove deacons as well. Deacons birth deacons. That's right. That's right. That's right. When other when other men come and see deacons, they become deacons. That's right. Y'all, out, out of out of twenty one years, I kind of know how this thing go a little bit. That's right. Not all the way, Mama Rosa, but some way, Someone. I kind of know how this go. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. And all, all I'm asking is is let me do what God has called me to do. That's right. That's all I ask. Amen. 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 I'm done. Let's let's get ready to to take up our offering uh, on today. Amen. Let's take yeah. up our offering on today. I'm starting this off with 100. Lay all belong to. Thank you, Jesus, for. Church say amen. 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 God, let's let's stand. Let's let's get ready to let's get ready to go. I need you in prayer this week. I need the church in prayer this week. Can the church say amen? Amen. Amen. Um, a praying church is a powerful church. Hallelujah. I want you to pray that. God would show himself strong in the ministry and that God would do what he said. You can always call God to his word Amen. and tell him, God, this is what you said in your word. Mm -hmm. And God will do just that. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 Resurrection is coming up. Amen. And uh, amen. Uh, I, have a, I have a whole plan for resurrection, but Folk get saved on Easter, and you know, sometimes we get mad at people because they only come to church on Easter, but sometimes that's the best time to get them. All right. Somebody say amen. 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 And I, I see this place, uh, my vision, I don't want to be ridiculous, but I see at least 50, 60 folk on Resurrection Day. All I right. see that. Amen. And amen. I, believe, I believe it can happen. Amen. 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 And we all put our best foot forward. Amen. 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 Uh, on your way out, uh, if you have a love offering, uh, please give it to Mama Wilson. Uh, give a love offering if you have it, whatever you have. Uh, on your way out, let us let us pray. Be in prayer for me. Uh, two more services today, um, uh, ten o'clock. But I'm not going to preach at South Rock. But I do have to preach um, at uh, Charity Mission today um, at eleven. I got to be there at about eleven thirty. So. Uh, keep me in prayer. I don't. I don't pout. This is what I love doing. Amen. Amen. This is what I love to do. You you taking a video of the of the piano? Who? You? No. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. You look. You look around. Oh. <laughs> At the piano, Father, how we thank you and praise you for all the things that you've done. We give you glory and honor, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Together we say amen. amen. And amen again. Amen. Uh, fist bump somebody, hug them. If you're vaccinated, tell them it's good to see you. Tell them you love them. 